right, welcome back to How to Be a Working Comic. My name is Dave Schwentz, and I'm coming at you today from Juneau, Alaska. Yeah, I wanted to talk about what it was like to be a comedian or a humor speaker, anyone who's on the road a lot, and going to different places. However, I don't think I'm going to be able to do the whole video here because it's getting kind of loud. I'm out in the middle of nature here, so we'll cut back to the studio. Did I really just say studio? You guys know this is just a room with a green screen, right? I don't want you to think this is some big production thing. I'm not going to BS you or anything like that. And I wasn't BSing when I said I was in Alaska. I really was, which is surprising for me since I don't really like to go anywhere that doesn't have sidewalks or public transportation. But it got me thinking about a lot of the comedians I've worked with, have talked with, about life on the road and going out and seeing the world. Might be something you're interested in doing. But keep in mind, life on the road is not all fun and games. I remember getting a phone call from a comedian who was performing in Florida. I said, wow, that's got to be great. The weather's beautiful, right? He goes, are you kidding me? He goes, we're having a hurricane down here. It's pouring rain. I'm stuck inside. I can't go anywhere. And I remember hearing from one comedian who called me from Alaska. I said, it's so great. You get to see the whole world that way. And he was saying, are you kidding me? It's like 20 below zero. I'm freezing cold and it hasn't stopped snowing. I can't get out of here. I said, well, I'm kind of glad I'm in my office in Los Angeles, but then again, you're seeing the world. All right, so what's the point behind this travel log episode of how to be a working comic? It's to talk a little bit about life on the road. It seems exciting, and a lot of comedians, well, some of them know how to use it, and some of them know how to abuse it. Now, I've heard stories from comedians that really knew how to abuse it, and I won't repeat any of those stories here, but it came down to hanging around in the bars too long, partying too much, and after a while, it takes a toll on your health. After a while, you're not giving the show that you were being hired, paid to do. Now, you should know that as a talent booker, club owner, club manager, they really don't have a lot of patience for comedians who don't turn up on time or just don't feel well enough to do a show or they get bad reviews of what's going on in, say, the comedy condos or the hotels where the comedians are staying at the club's expense. Now, everything has gotten a little bit loud, so I'm not sure how well you can hear me, but I did want to talk some more about traveling in this business because you never know where you're going to wind up, what you're going to see or even what you're going to be traveling on. So I guess I'm going to sound like somebody's parent, but I just want to give some words of advice. When you're on the road as a performer, as a working comic, remember, it's a job. This is your career. You really need to treat it that way. Now, I'm not saying you can't have any fun. I know comedians who really love to work the road, however, they take advantage of where they're going. For instance, one comic I work with goes to all the art museums in the certain big cities because she's a big fan and it's an opportunity that you wouldn't have in a normal 9 to 5 job. Another comic I know follows NBA teams. He goes to an NBA game in certain cities and he plans to schedule out that way. Now, they're headliners, they can do that. But when you go on the road, think about it. It's a job, take it seriously, but enjoy where you are. Okay, so there you go. I'm back in Juneau, Alaska. That's what it's like to work on the road, so be prepared. My name is Dave Schwentz, and this is called How to Be a Working Comic. Don't forget to subscribe to this travel log. All right, not really a travel log, but uh, I have fun with it, and I hope you did too. Thanks for watching. Again, we're in Juneau, Alaska. It's a little bit cold and damp, but I might see a whale out here. If I do, I'll post it at the end of this video. No. So once again, take care, and until next time, keep laughing.